John Perryman wasn't sure he was going to make a wheat crop this year. Like many wheat farmers in Texas, he faced challenges even before the seed was sown. But when it came time to put the combine in his fields around Moody, things turned out better than expected. This field was a bare ground at Christmas time. I mean, we drilled it in November and no moisture and it all came up when we got January rains and uh, didn't really think we had much of a chance to make a wheat crop, but we've had some surprisingly good wheat this year. Many farmers around the state weren't so lucky. The prolonged drought, hailstorms, and six record late freezes damaged, if not destroyed, much of the state's wheat. USDA is predicting yields down almost half from last year. On a good note, the central part of the state finally began getting some rains, just in the nick of time. Plus, cooler spring temperatures also allowed some winter wheat to recover and regrow, helping to offset some of the freeze damage. It came up late enough and it headed late enough that I don't think we've noticed any frost damage in our wheat. Wheat has grown on more land than any other crop in the world. The bread made from just one acre of wheat can feed a family of four for 10 years. And it only takes this combine about nine seconds to harvest enough grain to make 70 loaves of bread. Not only that, but more food is made with wheat than any other cereal grain. No wonder it's sometimes called the staff of life. Farmers like John and his son Wesley are proud to grow a crop that literally keeps the world alive. The grain sorghum of corn we grow, you know, we'll have city neighbors will come out and say, well, you know, is all that the corn that goes into the can or something? Like, no, no, that's not what we do. It's all livestock food. Wheat and cotton are the two direct human consumption crops that we grow. This field north of Moody is actually Wesley's. He grew up helping his dad harvest wheat, as well as corn, cotton, and grain sorghum ever since he can remember. It was just a few years ago when he decided to come back to the farm and follow in his dad's footsteps. Well, once I got out of high school, I went out and tried getting jobs elsewhere, and I just, I missed it. And, and so I told dad, you know, I'm ready to come back, and this is what I want to do. Wesley's hoping for 45 bushels an acre. Statewide expected average is 27. Some Texas farmers won't even make one, so the Perrymans feel very fortunate. Not too bad for a crop they never expected to harvest. For TFB News, Ed Wolf, Moody.